We all know that it's important to stay cancer free by protecting our skin. But did you know that what we're protecting it with could actually be more dangerous? However, never fear, we have Trisha Trimble here. She's the founder of Suntegrity and she's gonna help us see the light. Welcome to today's show. I'm Jen Bolden with GenBTV, TV, a weekly web show about fresh thinking on green living. We do the research for you, we test out these ideas in our own life, and then we bring you just the best of the best in five minutes or less. It's now time to tune in and be turned on to a whole new way to think about sunscreen. Here's why today's topic matters. We know better than to fry ourselves sans sunscreen, right? But do we know what we're actually slathering on to protect ourselves? You see, nine of the FDA approved ingredients in sunscreen are actually hormone disruptors. And hormone disruptors, when put on the skin, can get absorbed into the bloodstream, which links them to cancer. So ironically, the stuff that we're putting on to protect from sun cancer could actually be causing it. Now you might be saying, Jen, but my sunscreen has an American Cancer seal of recommendation on it. Doesn't that mean it's safe? Well, it turns out to get that certification, you just need to pass a few simple standards and pay $10,000 to the Foundation's Corporate Council. Did you know that our conventional sunscreen is bleaching and therefore killing our coral reefs? Yeah, about 5,000 tons of conventional sunscreen goes into our oceans every year. Basically, we're slathering it on and then jumping in the ocean. It's responsible for 10% of all coral loss. It's because that ingredient, oxybenzone, that's bad for us is also bad for the coral. But with Eco Sunscreen, the active ingredient is zinc oxide, and that's just a mineral. It's all ground up, so when you go into the ocean, it's just gonna float down to the bottom of the ocean floor, leaving Nemo's home intact. And clearly, it's really important that we keep our kids safe in the sun. Our little ones are extra vulnerable to sunburn, and we wanna make sure that the developing systems definitely don't absorb any of those nasty chems. That's why we wanna make sure what we're putting on their skin actually works, but it doesn't cause them any harm. I'm really excited that Trisha from Suntegrity drove up here to talk to us about Eco Sunscreen. But I just want to remind everyone, there's no pay for play. So that means anything that we recommend, it's because we truly love. All right, Trisha, you know I've always loved your product, so it's such a treat to have you here today. Thank you for coming up. Oh, my pleasure. I'm so excited to be here. Biggest question is, tell us the difference between physical and chemical sunscreen. So chemical sunscreens contain carbon and they work by absorbing into the bloodstream. Interesting. Whereas chem-free sunscreens or mineral sunscreens, as they're called, use minerals, zinc or titanium or a combination of the two. Okay. And they sit on the surface and then the sunlight UV rays reflect off. Jim Bowen, I don't like this. Oh, Maximo, it looks like that you grabbed an old thing of eco sunscreen, the kind that actually isn't blended up and it sits on top of your face a little much. It still works though. You ready to go to the beach? No, I just want to go home, I think. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> so the physical slash mineral non-chemical is yes. the type that you've developed. And a lot of people are always afraid, oh, I don't want to look like a ghost. I know I don't look like a ghost when I wear your stuff. So how did you crack that code? So we use non-nano sized zinc oxide. It's small enough that it does not look white on the surface of your skin for right. very long. Right. And it's big enough that it doesn't penetrate the bloodstream. Where did the motivation come from? I lost my mom to skin cancer um, over 20 years ago, and I was doing a school project, and for that, I wanted to create my own line. And I came across this EWG report, which said how toxic most sunscreens are, and at the time, I was running a beauty website, so I started to carry the non-toxic versions of sunscreen that they had said were, mm -hmm. were good. Mm -hmm. And through carrying those, I also found out what customers liked and disliked about those products. A lot right. of them were very greasy, they didn't smell very good, they look yeah, they looking really like a ghost. Mostly white. <laughs> so we decided to create one that would start white, so it's still non-nano, and then it would rub in right. after about a minute. Um, and then we had it smell good. We use nice essential oils to smell good. And we don't use fragrance. Fragrance 
oftentimes is where they hide a lot of you know parabens or yes. things that you don't really want in your products. Right, because you don't have to disclose what exactly. actually is in a fragrance. You can just put fragrance and hide all the exactly. nasty chems. So that's that's where people mostly put it. Way to go because it's an amazing product. Speaking of moms, you know my mom loves your product as well. I think she uses the okay. five-in-one natural moisturizer and sunscreen with a tint. And I kid you not, people have literally stopped her now and said, what are you doing different? Did you get some nice. work done? So you're obviously putting more in the sunscreen than just zinc oxide and some minerals and what have you, right? Yes, we have antioxidants, we have iron oxides for color. Um, zinc oxide is very therapeutic um, in benefits for the skin. It helps with rosacea, it helps with acne, oh, wow. it helps with any kind of rashes. That's why they use it in diaper rash creams. And the, the tints make it, you know, just make your skin have like a sun-kissed glow type of a look. So yeah. that's that's part of the effect of what, what she's probably seeing with the skin. And we've heard this from a number of customers is that their skin seems to improve. I love the quote on the front. Uh, would you tell it to me, please? Sure. It's, uh, Sentegrity was made in honor of my mom and all of those who lost their lives to skin cancer. May you wear the sunscreen and smile in their memory. That's so amazing. Number one. Look for zinc oxide based sunscreen. Number two, avoid oxybenzone and fragrances. And don't jump in the ocean with them on. And number three, download the EWG Guide to Safer Sunscreens. The link is in the Gen BTV weekly email that you'll get as a subscriber. And remember, consumer choice is driving change. We caring, concerned citizens really make a difference when we work together. Speaking of that, tell all your friends about eco sunscreen and why it matters. Just use this little button there. Oh, and don't forget to leave your questions and comments to this episode at genbtv.com. And while you're there, if you haven't subscribed yet to get the weekly newsletter, what are you waiting for? You'll actually be qualified to win some free eco garb like this amazing sunscreen. So thanks for caring, thanks for sharing, and we'll see you next week. Jenny. <laughs> Ready to go to the beach? <laughs> Scaring me. <laughs> hey Jenny, are you doing this so nobody looks at me? <laughs> I get no game at the beach with this, man. You're married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to put that in the back of my head. Do you have black? <laughs>